Hi pals, John here with the Lens Power, and today we're going to take a look at the Link from Paul C. Buff. This is an 800 watt second strobe, and we have recently added it to our shelves. Try saying that three times fast. And yeah, so we're here to talk about it. As I say, it's a big, powerful strobe. It is battery powered, although it does come with a 15 foot cable, so you can plug it in and run it in the studio. And yeah, it's it's crazy powerful, like super crazy powerful. Like part of me wants to demonstrate how bright this thing is by triggering it. But I know that I am stood like inches away from it and I am actually kind of scared that it would be like bordering on painfully hot to do it this close to me. We do have some kind of cool features on this though. First up are these, these are little silicon gels. This is this is one, this is a little diffusion uh, cover that goes on it just like that. They got some magnets inside here and you can just like pop this on. We also have a color correcting one. So we've got CTO and we've got green as well for shifting the color of the light. We're including a mount adapter this uses uh, something called a Balcar mount, which if you've ever used any of Paul C. Buff, uh, their lights before, you probably are familiar with it. Um, there's a couple, four little claws on it uh, that will just grab hold of this and allow you to then mount pretty much all of the modifiers that we have in stock and probably many of your own as well. Um, so that is the mount adapter. In addition to being an 800 watt second strobe, it is actually a pretty bright modeling light as well. I'm just gonna spin this around so I can see the controls on the back. Here, here we're at, I'm gonna do something really silly now. Here we're at the minimum output on the modeling light and I am gonna dial it up so you can see. Now obviously I'm stood like six inches away from this thing, that's really warm. I can, I'm feeling the heat off of that. You can see how bright this thing gets if, uh, if you need it to be. Now obviously running on battery power, the modeling light isn't gonna last forever, but like you say, it comes with a big old cable, so if you're using it in the studio, then you're all set. Why would you need 800 watt seconds of, of power? Well, let's say you're outside. There you go. Being outside, being able to, to overpower the sun, balance, your subject with the background behind them so that it's not all blown out. That's where having huge amounts of power comes in super handy. But more than that, when you are using uh, this with the trigger, the hub, as they call it, um, you can actually, more than just high-speed sync, you can actually uh, use the action mode that is part of this camera to freeze action basically. And yeah, this this will actually link to your phone, Bluetooth, so you can control it from your phone as well through the hub. Right now we only have the Canon one. Uh, the Sony one is becoming available later this year. And Nikon users, if you want us to get the Nikon hub in, let us know. We've already got a couple of people asking for it, but we really want to know that you guys are out there and wanting to use this. Now, if you are not a Canon user and you want to use this, you do have other options as well. Pretty much any uh, wireless triggering system such as the pocket wizards will work with this all you got to do is take the appropriate cable plug it in here and then there is a port on the back right there and that'll allow you to trigger it doesn't matter whether it's pocket wizard whether it's photix or any of the other brands as long as you have the trigger and the receiver and the receiver is plugged into this then it's going to work the other way you can do it is to have it um, triggered optically. So if you are using other lights, maybe you're renting um, the Explore 600s and you've got the, the trigger to go with them, you can set this up to be optically triggered and then when it sees the bright flash from the other lights, pop, this will go off at exactly the same time as well. So you do have options if you are not a Canon shooter. Obviously, if you are a Canon shooter, you have even more options because you have everything I just mentioned. Let's pause the hub. Yeah, this is nice. This is um, 
has an internal battery, charges over USB-C, lasts for hours upon hours, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You've got a nice little dial to control everything. Uh, you can even change the brightness on the screen to make it easier to read in bright daylight. Here it's all the way dialed down and all the way dialed up. So there's a significant bit of difference between the two, um, which is very helpful. And yeah, so this is a nice addition. We also have hot shoe on the top as well. So you can plug extra bits and pieces into there. Um, speed light, for example, or another manufacturer's trigger. It is a bit on the heavy side. It's 8.7 pounds, I believe, is the weight of the light. But all in all, it's not too terribly bad. I wouldn't want to hold it for long periods of time or uh, at the end of a 10 foot boom or anything along those lines, at least not for extended durations, but it can be done. It can be used handheld as it were. Just keep your hands away from the working end. There you go. Pulsey Buff Link, proudly made in the USA. If you've enjoyed this video, if uh, you just like really powerful lights and big flashy things, type lightning strike videos into YouTube. Uh, and otherwise, until next time, I'll see you soon.